So, um, last one, now the next one is, now we don't have um, addition. What we have in this case is, well, we have addition, but we can't combine these, right? Because that has, that's x squared, so the variable factors of x squared is x and x, x times x, and then here we only have one x. So now what we have is we have them grouped together with parentheses, and then we have a number outside of them. So when, remember, whenever we have a number outside of parentheses that's being separated by addition or subtraction, we have to apply the distributive property. Okay? Please note, this is different than this. These are not separated by addition or subtraction. So you just multiply from left to right. You don't do distributive property here. Only when the terms are separated by addition and subtraction do we apply distributive property. Yes, Jamie? Yep. Um, we would we would multiply those two fractions and the parentheses together first, and then multiply. Them. Doesn't matter. It's just multiplication. So you just go from left to right. So three times x squared is three x squared. I mean, well, this is kind of above the problem. And then three x squared times seven would be twenty one x cubed. Yeah, but we'll get to that kind of stuff later. I just want to make sure that. Students, make sure they understand whenever they see parentheses set with an expression separated by addition or subtraction, we have to multiply the 3 times x squared plus the 3 times 7x. Now we're getting into multiplication. All right? We're not talking about addition and subtraction anymore. Now we're talking about multiplication of terms. <coughs> so when we, you do not, for adding and subtracting, we had to have like terms. You can only combine an x with an x, right? You can only combine a number with a number. You can only combine x to the fourths with x to the fourths. But for multiplication, all we simply do is multiply the coefficients and multiply the variable factors. Well, remember 3 has a variable factor of x to the 0, right? Well, x to the 0 times x squared, remember you add the exponents, 0 plus 2 is still going to give us 3x squared because this one has a coefficient of 1. All right? So you multiply the coefficients, multiply the variable factors. Here, we have 3 times 7, which is 21. And then again, my um, variables are just going to be x. Anybody have any questions with that? So just um, multiply. Multiplying, you do not have to have.